Okay, this is an ammo box. Looks like an ammo box, right? Like any old ammo box. $8 from Harbor Freight. Yes, it's just the high end kind. I wanted to go all out. It was for my brother's 25th anniversary. Um, I don't know what to get the guy. I mean, I think he's into this kind of stuff. I think he'll think it's cool. It's a 5 amp hour, 12 volt sealed lead acid, acid glass, or yeah, acid glass mat battery inside. And uh, I left room if he wanted to add a parallel before he starts using it too much. You look inside here and uh, put the switch on and show you what works here. So we've got a little blue LED there. See if we can get it to focus a little better here. Oh boy. Better is not always better, is it? There we go. All right, so got a little voltage meter there, voltmeter. Um, actually, my dad sent that to me in the mail. It was something from China. He got on Amazon or something like that. Twenty dollar Black and Decker. This is handy because this folds out. So you can actually insert it into the 12 volt outlet here. I'll show you how that works. It's hard to hold a camera and do this with your other hand. And it actually lights up pretty cool. So I uh, apologize for that camera movement. Um, this is a little tray that I just built out of foam core and some hot glue. It's not the most attractive way to do it, but I'll tell you what, it's super lightweight, which is good for him because he has carrying restrictions, weight limits. The battery's about five pounds, so the whole box weighs probably six pounds. You can see the wiring in here, relatively simple. Throw a fuse in there, it's a seven and a half amp fuse. This power supply says it pulls up to nine amps. Um, but that's 120 watt peaks. It should really only pull about 100 watts continuous. So um, less than 9 amps, seven and a half should be okay. If he's running more than seven and a half, he's gonna kill the battery too fast. So you should keep the uh, power usage limited, but uh, just a little step up. And the reason I did that, so that you can take this little unit here, fold it up and store it inside. So that when you carry it, shut the power off, it's ready to go. And if you want to charge it up, you throw the power on, throw a solar panel in here, and you're off to the races. And that is my three hour from start to finish. Um, I guess you would call this a solar generator, like a goal zero, except that this has about a third of the capacity of the Goal Zero Yeti 150. Uh, if you add the second battery, which I can show you in here how that was designed to work. Take this out. Take this out. And now you can see that there's room in there for a second battery. I even gave him the Velcro and I put the terminals on. The uh, positive has a shroud over it so it shouldn't short out to anything. The negative is open. but it can be, it's the negative. Uh, so the other side is just wiring. But so wanted to get real fancy, I could probably make some room down here in this corner for some additional storage, but it wouldn't be much. So I decided to go ahead and leave it like that. There is a little extra storage in here. I thought about putting some Velcro on that so it doesn't move around, but it should be upright most of the time and not be a problem. It's certainly not gonna come out once you have it latched. 